So this is my random LED fader with the Arduino. Um, I chose the Arduino because it's so open source and so many people know how to program it and many people have one. I could have chosen the propeller, but the propeller, well, no, but not many people have it. Although it may, the code may be simpler, it's not necessarily as open source. Uh, my head is from my previous project. But so, to induce a random effect, I chose some programming, and I'll show you that later. But for an even more random effect, I chose to sync and source my LEDs. Now, to source, I think, means from positive to the pin. And so, whenever it's off, it's on. It's inverted. The To sync it means to put it to ground, and the signal is, is the same. So, I have a, three LEDs running on inverted signals, and three LEDs running on non-inverted signals. So, on pin 3, it's running on... It's running uh, from positive to the pin. Let me double check my wiring. Aha! I see a mistake. I might have burned that LED. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Now, so from pin 3, positive to the pin. Pin 4, uh, actually pin 5, from the pin to ground. Pin 6, positive to the pin. Pin 8, uh, the pin to ground. Pin 9, actually, yeah. Pin 8, we, we didn't have, it's pin 9, we have to ground. Pin 10, I have to positive, and pin 11, I have to ground. Now this... Basically, the random code, this makes it even more random because some of the signals are inverted. Let's go take a look at the code. So, according to the code, these are the pin numbers. This is the amount of steps. You just read the image, the notes. Uh, change these. When you download it, it might not be this. It shouldn't be, actually. But this is a good amount for snowflake, like a random fading effect. If you need faster, just change this one. This one adjusts the PWM from one from changing from one square wave to the next. This one adjusts the, the difference from like the, the time that passes between L each LED. This is the random encode. Not too long. It's a few pages, and so you might want to read that. So this is very fun, and when you're done, just hit upload and then upload it. And when you're done, you'll have, you'll just connect the pins I listed out in the way, I'll list them out again in a second, and then power it up. Now this will run by 5 or 3.3 volts, depending on your, from your discretion. 5 volt, now, uh, now this circuit can run at 5 volts, but the LEDs may need a resistor. Now I doubt that should happen because the LEDs that I'm using have special abilities to observe a lot more current than I thought they would dissipate a lot more current. And so I'm running them from 5 volts. So let's go take a look. These are running from 5 volts, but let's just change that to 3.3. Okay. 3.3 gives you a bit less bright, but you're putting less heat and current upon the LEDs. And it still looks pretty decent. I mean, not much change. So, let's find out how to build this. Go check out my instructable. And have fun.